What's up guys, welcome to vSexualization. Quick question, do you struggle with percentages in Power BI? If so, this tutorial is definitely for you, my friend. Guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to use the calculate function to find percentages in Power BI Desktop. So, are you ready? Let's get started. All right, so for today's tutorial, I have four different points. The first one, we're gonna learn quickly about the DAX functions to be successful in this tutorial. Second point here, we're gonna learn more about percentages based on column total. Third point, percentages based on parent row. And finally, guys, as always, I have here a really nice case. So the case will include points number two and number three and let's do it let's go to the first point all right so the DAX functions to be successful in this tutorial are the following the first in the list is the calculate function you guys might be familiar with this function this is a powerful function we can modify the filter context and this is going to be very very useful to find percentages the all function this is basically a calculate modifier so we can remove filters from any table, from any column. Then here we have the all except function. Uh, this function references a table, right? And then, so we need to remove all the filters, but some specific columns here. Okay, so we're gonna see this in an example as well. Then here we have the values function. This function restores any filter from a table or column. Finally, guys, we have the divide function. And this is also very helpful to find percentages, right? Because we have to divide numerator by denominator and then find the specific percentage. So now let's go to the second point. Percentages based on column total. I have received a lot of questions about this type of calculations and I actually have two tutorials about this. But for today's tutorial, I have something different here and you guys will, will see in the case, okay? But the main concept here is quite straightforward. For this example, we have right here countries, right? And each country has its own subcategory. For Canada, for example, we have ABC. And then we also have the total here for this particular country, right? Which is 33. And then in terms of percentages, so the calculation is basically the division between 33 and this is just for Canada, 33 divided by 193, which is the total, which represents 100%, right? And then for the other components, the logic is very similar for uh, A, for example, here for Canada, right? Subcategory A, 20 divided by 193, give us about 10%. And then we can keep doing the same analysis for the other countries. But basically, this is the example that I had and I wanna give you guys an idea about what we're gonna be solving today, okay? So now let's go to the next point. All right, percentages of pen and row. So this is a good one as well. So basically here, if we take a look at example, uh, we have the country, we have the subcategory for each country, but that percentage, right, is based on this pen and row. For this particular case, Canada, which is 33 here, the total just for Canada, this represents 100%, right? And then each subcomponent here, A, B, or C, is divided by 33. And this is giving us these values right here, right? And then the same logic applies to the other countries as well. Like I said before, percentages in Power BI are very helpful, and I have received a lot of questions about this type of analysis. So now let's go to the next point. So guys, now no more talking and let's do this. We have two questions here. Find the profit percentages of each country, segment, and product based on product column total. Use a matrix to represent the results. And then for question number two, it's very similar. Find the profit percentages of each country, segment, and product based on parent row. Use a matrix to represent the results. So now let's go to Power BI Desktop. All right, so here we are in Power BI Desktop. And real quick, before we get started with the solution, so we have two different pages here. 
the percentage for column total and then we have the percentages for pen and row as well. We have this table called financials. This is a table that Power BI provides and also I'm going to share with you this, this report so you can have it as a reference, okay? So we have that table and we also have a dates table. We're not going to use that dates table for now, but we also created a new table called DAX measures. And as you guys can see, there is already a measure there. And this is basically adding profits, right? We are adding profits that it's part of the financials table. It's just quite straightforward. Now let's solve the question. Here we have already country and we also have right here segment. So each country has segments, right? And this applies for every single country. We have one, two, three, four, five countries. And we already have profits here. So it's referencing the, the measure that we already created. So now, how do we find the percentages? Let's do that. So the next thing that we want to do here is create a new measure. So right click here, new measure. And we're going to name it as profit percentage column total. All right. So this is a new measure. I'll enter here and we're going to use variables here. So our first variable is going to be called current total profit. Okay. If you guys are not familiar with variables here, I already created a tutorial. I'm going to share with you the link if you want to explore that as well. Okay. For current total profit, we're going to use the measure that we already created. So this is total profit. Okay. So I'll enter here. Let's create another variable here. And we're going to call this all total profit. Okay. Remember, there is no space for the name of each variable. And here we're going to use this powerful function called calculate. We're going to reference here total profit again, the measure. And then right here, we're going to use the all function. Like I mentioned before, the all function will remove any filter from a specific table. Okay. And then for this particular case, we're going to remove any filter from the financials table. All right. What else? Here we also need to add another filter. So let's add comma here. I'll enter. And we're going to use this powerful function called values. So uh, values here. So if you guys remember, values restores part of the filtered context. And for this particular case, we're going to restore a filter from the product column. Okay. So we're going to add right here product right there. And then we can rearrange this a little bit better if we want. There you go. And now what we're going to do here is I'll enter close parenthesis for calculate. So we created the second variable here. We need to get another variable var here and we're going to call this ratio. Okay. Ratio here. This is basically like the, the division, right? So we need to use, so we need to use divide here. So the numerator, this is going to be the current total profit because this is a ratio, right? And then the denominator is going to be all total this variable right here. All right, so I'll enter again. So now we need to add the other component here, return. And right here, we basically use ratio, the last variable that we created. So that's what we have. And hopefully this solves the first question, right? So let's approve these changes and let's see what happens. All right, so it seems like it's working. So remember, this is percentage. So let's add percentage here. All right, 
two decimals there. All right, so how about if we drag this new measure into this matrix right here? Boom, there you go, right? So that's how it works, my friends. So here we have every single country, every single component for each country, right? And then these values right here, I divided by the total profit. So in the end, we have a value, a specific percentage for each component. So that's how it works, my friends. So now, remember that we need to add right here product to make this more interesting. So let's go to the financials table here and let's select product and let's drag this into columns and let's see what happens. Boom, my friends, there you go. So here we have different types of products, right? We have Amarela, we have Carretera, we have Montana, Paseo, Velo, etc. So the logic applies for every single product as well. If we go back to the code real quick, right here, if we take a look at the denominator, this is gonna be the denominator, right? So here, so we are removing every single filter from the financial table, but because we are having product here as well, so we need to restore this uh, filter, this filter context, right? That's why we're using values here. So in the end, the result here is based on product column. There you go. That's how it works. Now let's solve the next question here. Let's go to the next page. All right, so this is very similar. We already have the matrix there. We have also the measure there called total profit. So what we need to do next is let's use as reference the previous measure here. Control C. And then what we need to do here is create another measure here. New measure. And now we need to paste control V, there you go. And we need to rename this. So we're gonna call this profit percentage pen row, okay? So pen row right here, there you go. So now let's make a couple of changes here. So the first part is okay. We don't have to make any changes there. We are good there. The second part, like I said, we're gonna make a couple of changes here. So let's remove this real quick. Okay, I'll enter here and let's add here this powerful function called all except. Okay, so the all except function removes all the existing features from the financials table, right? Because we're gonna use here the financials table except for the country and product columns. Okay, so let's do that. So we're gonna use here the table name financials it's right there and then comma here we need to add here two different columns and this is going to be the country column right and then we're going to use here the product column as well there you go so like i said before we are moving all the filters from the financials table but we are keeping any filters that are part of the country and product columns Okay, so let's close parentheses here and we can rearrange this a little bit better if we want as well. All right. And now, close parentheses for calculate, it's there. Ratio, this is gonna be the same. We don't have to change anything there. And then finally, that should give us the results. So let's hit enter and see what happens. So it's loading. All right, perfect. Let's move this a little bit closer. Okay, so let's use percentage here, percentage symbol, all right? So let's drag this into this matrix and let's see what happens. Guys, bingo! That's what we're looking for, right? So we have 100% for each country and then these percentages are based on the total amount for each country. For this particular case, for the channel partners, for Canada, so this 10.17 is a division between 358,978 with 3,529,228, right? 
So this is giving us this value. See how powerful is the calculated function? So we can modify the filter context by using calculate modifiers. All right, so now just to, to complete this analysis, so we're gonna do the same thing that we did for the previous page, for the previous analysis. So we're gonna add here also product. So guys, now you have the result that you were looking for. We have this matrix and we have the percentages based on pennant rows. All right, so now let's go back to our presentation and see what else we have there. All right, guys, I hope I answered your questions with this tutorial. If you found this content helpful, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.